Hello again and welcome back. In the last video we looked at how easy it is to set up email templates in Click Dimensions, but what happens after the campaign has been sent will create a lasting impression of your business and so it's important to get things right at this critical stage in the process. In this video we'll look at how we can create a workflow to automate the process of responding when a delegate signs up for your event on Eventbrite. This will include a friendly email as well as a copy of the event brochure. The whole process is managed completely automatically and without any involvement of you or your staff apart from setting up the process in the first place. Eventbrite has an application program interface linking it to Click Dimensions, which means that when you set up your event on Eventbrite, the Eventbrite system will send an electronic message to Curo. This message will create an event record in Curo automatically. The same is true when a delegate signs up for the event. The Eventbrite API fires and automatically creates an event participant record in Curo and links that record back to the lead or contact from your marketing list. Let's show you what I mean. Here we are on the event marketing dashboard. The middle panel shows all of the events that have been organised for this fiscal year. Since the last video, an extra event has been scheduled for August, and so now we have two events to look at. To go to the right event, open up the dashboard by clicking here. Then you can navigate to the event you want, like so. This illustrates just how powerful dashboards can be in directing you to precisely the record you want in Curo. An alternative to using dashboards is to go to the event section directly, which is accessed via the marketing section here. Opening the event record shows you the information available about the event. All of this data has been sent to Curo by Eventbrite. When a contact signs up for the event on the Eventbrite page, then another message is sent to Curo giving details of the event participant. It's this event participant record that we will use to trigger a workflow to send the new delegate a welcome email and brochure, as you can see. The event participant workflow is made up of two parts, the Microsoft workflow process and the Experido email and brochure templates. You will hear a lot about Experido in future videos, but for now, suffice it to say that Experido is an incredibly powerful Microsoft Word-based document template solution that can be used to create just about any document you like, referencing data from within Curo and presenting that data in your own design, voice and brand. Both the email and brochure templates for this example have been created using Experido. Curo Workflow is the same Microsoft Workflow Foundation as used by some of the world's largest enterprises, so you would expect it to be highly capable. In fact, in the hands of experts, there is very little that can't be done. As we've already seen, there are two events that are currently being promoted here at Prospero Wealth. One looking at the recent changes to pensions legislation, and the other is our digital marketing event. The key challenge is to ensure that the right response is sent to the right delegate so that those that buy tickets to the marketing event get the marketing brochure and those that sign up for the pensions event get the pensions brochure. The way we do this is split the workflow into two parts. The parent workflow and two child workflows. The parent workflow needs to trigger a response when an event participant is returned from Eventbrite but be able to recognise the event to which it relates. This workflow then triggers a child workflow that is designed to send the correct brochure to the correct event participant. Let's have a look. Workflow development can be found in the Process Center menu under Settings. Here's the parent workflow, and when we open it, you'll see the two child workflows. What I'll do now is show you just what we did to build these workflows. Firstly, we need to build the two child workflows because, as you saw, they're referenced in the parent workflow. We need two child workflows in this example, one for each of the two scheduled events we've got coming up, and then one parent workflow, which will choose the right response based on conditional logic. To create a process, select New here. We need to name the process. In this case, we'll call it Email to Marketing Automation Event. The entity that the workflow is triggered from is Event Participation. The category is Workflow. Now save the record and the system will create a new blank workflow. 
We'll set up the workflow as an on-demand process, which means we can trigger it manually if we need to, as well as as a child process, which means that another parent workflow can trigger this process as well. This workflow is designed to send the email and accompanying brochure when triggered, and so now we need to create the workflow itself. Add a step in the workflow here. Because we're creating an Experido email and document, we need to select a control that allows us to do this. You can see there is a command under the Experido menu in the list that says Generate Document. Select this and name the step like so. We'll call this step Create Email Body. Select Set Properties, which will open another dialog. Now look up the Experido email template here. Select the right template, event email confirmation, and complete the rest of the dialog. The format for this step is HTML, as we're sending the email in the HTML format. Once this step has been completed, simply save and close the dialog. Next, add a new step and repeat the process, but this time selecting the marketing automation event template, thus. We can personalize the document name using the form assistant. The entity is the event participant as before. The field we want is the first name. Simply select it from the list. Add the merge field and will appear in the document name like so. Complete the rest of the dialogue including how you'd like the document generated. In this case we want it produced as a PDF. The final step is the send and file the email against the event participant record. Once again complete the dialogue under properties. Although this looks a little more technical it really isn't, and once you're familiar with what you're seeing, then these processes are easy to do. Repeat the process for the second event child workflow. In the true Blue Peter tradition, this is one I prepared earlier. So now armed with, armed with my two child workflows, I now need to create the parent. Remember, the parent workflow directs the system as to which child workflow to select based on the event itself. I've set up this parent workflow already and I've called it response to event participant registering for tickets. This workflow has been set as an on-demand workflow which means it can be triggered manually. It can also be triggered by the system when a record is created as you can see here. In this example the record that's being created is the event participation record and is being created by the event bright message when someone signs up for a ticket. You'll see in this workflow we have two conditions. if the event equals pensions freedom, then trigger the event participation workflow called email to pensions freedom event. Otherwise, if the event equals marketing automation, then trigger the event participation workflow called email to marketing automation event. So in summary, someone goes to your website event following receipt of your email promoting it. They click on the event link where they're taken to the Eventbrite website and arrive at your event. They order their ticket. Eventbrite sends them a copy of their ticket directly and then sends a message to Cura informing it that one of the leads or contacts on your marketing list has ordered the ticket. This sets up an event participation record in Curo and then triggers the parent workflow. The condition is met and this causes the correct child workflow to trigger. The result of which is the contact then receives an email from you with a great welcoming message and a personalised event brochure. Voila! In the next video, we'll show you how to kick off the process by sending the email we created in the previous video.